We are in a debt crisis. We are also in an annual deficit crisis where we spend more than we bring in. But I will tell you the greatest deficit we face as a country may not be our economic deficit. The greatest deficit we face as a country today is a deficit of trust. It is why I first ran for office two years ago, to try to restore trust. To serve as a conservative you can trust to advance less government, less taxes, less bureaucracy, and to truly represent and advance each and every person, each and every American's personal liberty. A conservative you can trust to actually get results, to govern, and yes, to keep the government open. We need conservatives capable of leading our nation, not leaving us behind. I grew up as the son of a Southern Baptist minister, taught to believe in the Almighty God, and also taught to believe in the almighty power of the human spirit. That we are each born with the same equality of opportunity, and that through our own hard work, through keeping our word, through holding a trust and doing our job, each one of us can define our own lives, our own careers, and achieve whatever greatness we like to define for ourselves. They are biblical principles, yes, but they are the same principles upon which our nation was founded over 220 years ago. This notion that we broke from a monarch that suggested all power and all freedom rested in the crown, and the monarch would distribute freedom and liberty to the people. Our founders founded this nation on the radical notion that we could govern ourselves, that we are, in fact, a free people. We are granted freedom and liberty by our Creator, and together, collectively, as, as Americans, we determine how much freedom and liberty to resign over to the government, how much freedom and liberty we allow the government have to make decisions for us. The question in 2016 is have we, the people, protected that freedom? Have we? Because every time liberal Democrats suggest that we need to tax more, government needs more money, government needs more power, government needs to make more decisions for us, they are, in fact, taking away the very personal and human liberties upon which our nation was founded. We have a president that has restricted our personal freedom. He has encumbered us with the highest debt we have ever faced as a nation. He has taken away our health care choices as we all saw in 2014 with what was later called the lie of the year. We have a president that has restricted access to health care for our veterans. We have a president that has restricted the freedom of our entrepreneurs, our small business owners, our job creators. And we have a president that has risked our freedom, risked our freedom by negotiating with terror nation states like Iran, and risked our freedom by trampling on and shredding the Constitution of the United States every time he issues an executive order that falls outside the Article II authority of his office. And in 2016, we face, as Republicans, candidates like Hillary Clinton, Bernie Sanders, and my opponent, Alan Grayson, who are asking us, the state of Florida, to allow them to continue on the legacy of Barack Obama. And in the state of Florida, we are not going to let that happen. <clears throat> you see these candidates, Hillary Clinton, Bernie Sanders, Alan Grayson, they stand in the way of our freedom. 